What is going on everybody? It is Chris Dross here and today we have a lot of fun decks uh, to go over. I'm actually going to be recording quite a bit of different videos uh, kind of all together for releasing. So we got four decks coming up and these have been a lot of fun to play. Uh, we got Salmon Greats, we got an Ellis Susha variant, we got ABCs, and then we got uh, Ancient Gears. Um, so like I said, we got four decks coming up, uh, four different videos. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these. They've been a lot of fun to play. Uh, but for today's video, we're going to get right into... Uh, we're going to start, start, start with ABC. ABC is uh, an interesting deck. I'm going to do another variant of this deck for Ojamas later on. But for right now, this is Adventure ABC. And I hope everybody enjoys. So, Adventure ABC is a really cool deck. Uh, it evolves around, uh, you know, uh, A Assault Core. B, Buster Drake, and then C, Crush Ryvern. It revolves around these three cards, and they can all equip to each other, and like, unequip to special summon themselves, and if they get sent to the graveyard, they get bonus effects. Uh, but mostly, it allows us to get out our boss monster, ABC, Dragon Buster. Uh, and that's really the play. That's what you want to get out all the time. And uh, like I said, it's a really cool deck. It's pretty, pretty well and pretty consistent. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So with that out of the way, let's get into the card by card. So, firstly, for the master dual tax, uh, we gotta play the hand traps. We got three max C. Uh, if you guys aren't playing it, you're gonna be losing games. Uh, that's as simple as that. Max C is just so important. Uh, if your opponent wants to start special summoning, you could just drop this card and immediately start drawing cards for every time they special summon. Uh, this card can make or break games. It can easily win you games right away. We are running three Ash Blossom. Simple fact to get rid of your opponent's max C. There's no real ands and buts about it. Uh, we are also running uh, two Called by the Grave. That gets rid of your opponent's max C. We are also running uh, one Cross Out Designator. That gets rid of your opponent's max C. You can see that we have a lot of target negation towards Max C because simple fact, if your opponent draws Max C, you kind of lose. And a lot of decks kind of lose right away. And for our last hand trap, we are running two infinite permanents. I'm going to cut this down to one when a certain card comes out tomorrow, but we'll go over that in a moment. So that's all of our hand traps. With that out of the way, let's get into the card by card. So we've got one heavy mech support armor. This is one of our normal summons in the deck that kind of can help us bounce back if we need to. It's not a good going first card, but it is a good one to have. Uh, this card's normal summon. You can target one Union monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Once per turn, you could either target one Machine monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. Your opponent cannot target a uh, monster equipped with this card with card effects. Also, the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect. Destroy this card instead. Uh, the really cool part is the spinning our special summon a monster, a unit monster from your graveyard, uh, and you can just start off making your link plays right away. We got one water entrancers of the water temple. Uh, water entrancers of the temple is pretty cool. You can send this card from, uh, you can banish this card uh, from your hand or graveyard to add one right up admiral here from your deck, deck though to your hands. We got two ASR core. A Assault Core is once per turn, you could either target one light monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. A monster equipped to this card is unaffected by opponent monster effects, except its own. Also, the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you could add one other unit monster from your graveyard to your hands. Then we are running two C Crush Ryvern. Crush Ryvern is once per turn, you could either target one light machine monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it. A monster equipped to this card is unaffected by opponent's trap effects. Also, it is uh, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one union monster from uh, your hand. Then we got three. Uh, Buster Drake. Buster Drake is the primary one. It's the best one, so you want to run more of this than the others. Uh, what this card does is once per turn, you can either target one light monster you control, unequip this, uh, equip this card to that target, on unequip it to special summon it. A monster equipped with this card is unaffected by opponent's spell effects. Also, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you could add one unit monster from your deck to your hand. So that is the core of the deck. You really want to run those, and they're really necessary. We are running one Photon uh, uh, Orbitor. 
During your main phase, you can target one Photon or Galaxy Monster you control, equip this monster from your hand or field to the target against 500 attack. You're not using that effect, what you're using an effect is this one here. You can send this equip card to the graveyard, add one Photon or Galaxy Monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. And that's a really good effect because we could search out our soldier. Galaxy Soldier is you can send one other light monster from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card card from your hand in defense position. When this card is special summoned, you can add one galaxy monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the, uh, use this effect of galaxy soldier once per turn. So the search effect, the add one galaxy monster from your deck to hand is a hard once per turn, but the special summon effect is not. So you can special summon multiple of these out on the same turn and then they're really good that way. We got one union driver. Uh, some people run two and uh, honestly that's a really good idea. Cut out the parallax seas, run another union driver, uh, cut one of the infinite permanents and add three of the new cards coming out i'll explain those in a minute though so a union driver is once per turn you could either you could either target one face up monster you control equip this card to that target or unequip this card to special summon it if the equipped monster will be destroyed by battle or card effect destroy this card instead when this card is equipped to a monster you can banish this equipped card equip one level four lower uh union monster from your deck to the monster this card was equipped to so that's what this card is really good for because simple fact is if you have the field spell out you use a normal summon b drake uh then you could uh equip union driver to b drake uh then use b drake's effect banish it to get one of your like other cores out like you see or a the special summon those ones so you can link off like i said it, it's really good definitely worth running uh union driver does a lot for the deck you definitely need it we got one Wandering Griffin Driver. This is for our, our adventure package. Wandering Griffin Rider is an Omni Negate if it's on the field. We got three Parallel Exceed. Uh, this is the cut card. Uh, being honest, like I said, you could cut this down. You could cut these three out and one Infinite Permanence. And uh, I'll explain what to add to those slots later. Uh, to cut one Infinite Permanence, add another Union Driver. So the deck will look more like uh, that here. But just an FYI. Uh, then we got one Foolish Burial, you can send one monster from your deck to the graveyard, one Tail of Foaming, two Rite of Adam Messier, one Draco Back. We got three Union Hanger. Union Hanger is a really cool field, field spell. When this card is activated, you can add one Light Machine monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if a Light monster, uh, light um, a Machine Union monster is normal or special summon to your field, except during the damage step, you can target one of these monsters, equip one appropriate Light monster, uh, one light union monster with a different name for your deck to that monster, but the union monster you equip cannot be special summoned this turn. And the monster you really want to be equipping is Union Driver. We got one Faithful Venture. We got two Call by the Grave, one Cross Off Designator, three Unauthorized Reactive. You can target one machine monster you control, equip one appropriate machine union monster from your hand or deck to that monster, but the uh, union monster you equip cannot be special summoned this turn. It's really good, definitely worth running. So, like I said, that's the main deck. Now, for the main deck, I said I'll cut the Parallel XCs out of it. And the reason why I said that is because this card is coming out. Theon King Regulus is coming to the game. It's actually coming out uh, when I'm recording this video uh, in like three days. So, like I said, it's a really good card. And you definitely want to be running it. What this card does is very, very simple. And it's amazing. So what it does is you can target one Theon monster or one machine monster in your graveyard and special summon this card from your hand. If you do, equip that monster to this card. So it's a really easy special summon. But its effect is when this uh, when the opponent monster activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can send one Theon monster from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard and negate that effect. And Theon, you can send itself. So you can send itself to the graveyard and it's a free omni negate. And it's really easy to special summon. And if you equip your uh if you target your like A assault cores, B assault cores, the C assault cores, when it sends, these cards get sent to the graveyard also, and their effects will proc. Uh, just an FYI, Theon is really good for the deck, and it's going to be busted. You want to run three of them and get rid of your Pelelax C for that. Also coming up is ABC Dragon Buster is coming to three copies. You run run three copies of that. I would honestly get rid of like Nightmare Sybaris and have a third copy of ABC Dragon Buster. So, with that, let's get to our extra deck, ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, it requires A, Assault Core, Buster, Drake, and Crush Ryvern. It must be special to have extra deck by banishing the above cards you control and or from your graveyard. You do not use Polymerization. Once per turn, quick effect, you can discard one card, then target one card on the field and banish it. Simple as that. It's really good, 
really great disruption. I love it. Then during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you contribute this card, then target three of your banished light machine monsters with different names, the special summon them. So it allows you to go in OTK so that in phase you can just ban uh, tribute this card, get three of your uh, light monsters to the field, then you could link them off to link plays or you know, link plays, then you could end on like your link monsters plus an ABC dragon. It's just really good, definitely worth running. We got one Degusco Emerald. Degusco has been featured a lot in Mighty Decks lately. It's a really good card. You could target three monsters in the graveyard, shuffle them back in the deck, and draw one card. We got one Baguska for emergency reasons. We got one Cyber Dragon Nova, and that allows us to rank up into Cyber Dragon Infinity. Cyber Dragon Infinity is just a straight Omni Negate. So, uh, once per turn, uh, if your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you detach one material from this card, negate the activation, really good. We are running one night versus Cerberus, we are going, that's a cut card, you could cut it for ABC Dragon Buster, just an FYI. Uh, so your deck would look, that three, we can't do it right now, but you get what I'm saying. We got one Nightmare Phoenix, this is our spell and trap removal. We got one IP Masquerina, one, uh... Barricade Blocker. Barricade Blocker is when this card is linked summon, you can discard one card. Then during the end phase of this turn, you can add one continuous or field spell from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. This allows us to recycle our field spells if they do get destroyed. We got one Union Driver. Union uh, Union Carrier, my bad. Union Carrier is a great card. You could uh, When this card is linked uh, summon, you can target one face up monster you control, including itself, and equip one monster from your hand or deck. Or deck. Uh, with its same original type or attribute so it's a light machine and that's all of our deck so you could easily equip you know a uh c and or b or even union driver uh the fact is this card is amazing definitely worth running we got one light charmer light charmer is a really good card it comes up in certain situations uh like i was playing against blue eyes and this came up so i was able to link them off get my effects from my a and b and i was able to like steal the blue eyes and stuff like that so like I said, it does come up we got one that made unicorn the bounce cards one apollosa uh it's a good card for straight omni negate reason I mean for monster negate reasons and then we got one access to kotaka to close out games so like i said that's the deck uh when the ninth comes should be probably the day for this video gets released to be honest with you guys with how I'm recording right now uh, All my Pelexies will be removed for Theon King instead and that would be the play you definitely want to run those three and that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the deck um, Yeah with that out of the way uh, Let's get into the games, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. All right. Thank you. Bye Alrighty guys this first deck uh this first duel is against utopia utopia is a really interesting deck and i think this guy misplayed um I'll, I'll explain where i think he misplayed but he ends up going first i'm like okay utopia probably could win going first he activates automatopia he gets rid of mystic walk this is a weird build uh you kind of see what i mean by weird uh he activates some wild cards i'm not gonna go through his plays by the way on this one i'm just gonna kind of let you see the replay uh, he goes into Utopia Double. Utopia Double effects will allow him to get double nothing, and he's going to rank up into number 39. So far, this all seems... We've seen these plays before. So he goes into number 39, but at this point, he activates another card to special summon itself. 39 is going to go into Utopia Ray. Then he activates a Hyper Rank, and he ranks up into number 99. I'm like, okay. Uh, number 99's effect, he's going to discard two cards, and he special summons number 100. I'm like, all right, this is weird. Number 100 gets attached, and he's activate number 100 effect, detach it, and it goes up to 1,300, and he sets one card. I'm like, huh, interesting. Activate Union Hanger, and he's going to activate uh, number 99. I thought he was going to go into, like, Hope Harbinger or something. I max C to draw one card. But the card he goes into, I was not expecting. Um, so number 99 is going to special summon uh, number 43. I was like, why the hell did he go into number 43? I was really confused by this, um, but yet again, that's what he did, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, yeah, so like I said, he goes into number 43. I'm like, okay, so he has actually no negates up right now. I could do this. Then he goes Mystic Walks effect, he getting rid of his number 100, and he gains 1,300 attack. Just, yeah, 13,000 attack right away. So he's at 2,100, uh, 20, uh, 21,000. I go to B. So I normal summon 
Oh, uh, sorry. Let me pause this. I normal summon B. Union to Hangar's effect activates, and I equip it with Union Driver. Union Driver's effect is going to banish itself, and I get C Crush. So I'm feeling really confident. For those two, I link off into Nightbird Sybaris. I do get rid of my ASL core in my hand, and I get rid of his number 99. B Drake's going to activate and allow me to get another Union Monster from my deck to my hand. And I do get uh, Heavy Mech. Sybaris is going to get rid of his number 99. At this point, I go I Fusion Summon into my ABC Dragon Buster. Dragon Buster effects when I activate, I do discard one card and I get rid of his number 43. Then I activate uh, Unauthorized and I get B Drake attached to it. B Drake allows my uh, my card to be unaffected by spell traps. And at this point, I just attack over both his cards. But I'm really confident there's that much he can do about this. Then at this point, I just end my turn. So. At this point, I think it's pretty safe to say I won. My opponent uh, can't do anything. At this point, I'm just going to fast forward because this is going to take a while. Uh, at this point, I just try to get as much monsters out in the field as possible. Uh, so I can link up into, you know, different cards. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this kind of takes a while. Uh, I use Galaxy Soldier's Effect twice. And that allows me to go into another Negate. Uh, there goes Cyber Dragon. And I go into Cyber Dragon and Infinity. I go into Appalosa. So at this point, like I said, I'm just trying to get more cards on the field so I get more damage. And, uh, yeah, like I said, at this point, there wasn't too much going on. But I go into Axis Call Talker. Uh, didn't use a Link, by the way, so it doesn't gain any more attack. I was just being stupid. But I have a lot of interruption. My opponent really can't do anything, so I'm going to attack for quite a bit. I end my turn. My opponent has 10,000 life left still. Good God. Uh, my opponent just ended his turn. At this point, I realized he just gave up. So I'm going to activate, B uh, I mean, normal summon B Drake just for, you know, more damage. And I'm going to attack for quite a bit. And the B Drake normal summon was necessary. And there it goes. That was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that duel. And with that out of the way, uh, let's get, get into the next one. All right, guys. For our next duel here, it's against Generator. It's actually a generator with a uh, fucking Dinomorphia package for like Dinomorphia War and the new monster that came out recently. So I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, so I have a pretty good hand. I activate uh, Galaxy Soldier and I discard my Union Driver to get another Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier effects when I activate again. Uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, Sea Crush. And it allows me to go into Cyber Dragon Nova. Cyber Dragon Nova is going to allow me to go into Infinity. And at this point, I just normal summon my ASR core and I equip it to my Infinity. So ASR core allows me to not get destroyed by my opponent's, I mean, uh, uh, unaffect my opponent's monster effects while it's equipped. So I feel pretty confident. So my opponent, uh, he goes first. He activates Lightning Storm. I have to negate that. Like, I can't choose not to. So that sucks. Uh, so like I said, negate his lightning storm. Like I right, see what ends up happening here. Uh, then my opponent normal summons uh, Dynamorphia, uh, uh, the the female one. I can't I cannot pronounce that. But he sets frenzy on the camp. I know how this is going. Then he ends his turn. This is where he made a mistake. He should have immediately activated frenzy, but he didn't. So I actually steal his Dynamorphia now. He has no more target for his frenzy, and I normal summon ASR core, and I just attack for quite a bit of damage. Uh, the night is in my turn here. My opponent probably could have actually done more stuff, but he misplayed. He activates, he normal summons out of Dynamorphia, but he has no target anymore for it. He activates Generator Boss Quest. I'm like, yep, I know what he's going to do. I negate, bo I mean, I negate uh, Boss Quest with Ash Blossom. And at this point, my opponent just concedes. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for the guy. He opened up poorly. It happens. I play Generators a lot. I love the deck. And, uh, yeah. It happens. No shame. I hope you guys enjoyed that deck. I mean, that uh, that duel. Let's get into the next one. All right, guys. This next duel is against Blue Eyes. I really need to make a Blue Eyes deck one of these days. <laughs> um, I, I kind of always pick on it in my videos. It's kind of just a meme at this point. Uh, but like I said, one of these days I'll make a Blue Eyes video. Um, so my opponent goes first. He activates uh, Alternative Dragon. Reveals Blue Eyes. And he activates Dragon Shrine. He sends... Um, he sends White Son of Legends and Dragon Spirit of White. White Son of Legends activate. He gets a uh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon to the field. And I'm like, huh, this is actually doable. So I activate Water Enchantress with my hand, banishing it, and I do get a Ride of Adam Messier. Ride of Adam Messier effects going to activate, allow me to get a token. And at this point, uh, Faithful uh, Adventure, I activate Griffin Rider. 
uh, that allows Faithful Adventure to activate to allow me to get uh, Draco back, Draco back. In fact, I'm going to target his back row because I feel confident getting rid of the rest of them. So at this point, uh, I normal summon B Drake and I actually uh, linked off into Luna Light, uh, the Light Charmer. So I don't have an Omni Negate anymore, but I don't feel like he could do anything. Uh, B Drake's going to activate and Parallax is going to activate. Parallax is going to special summon itself to his own, uh, his own uh, this card uh, points to. And B Drake is going to allow me to get a card to my hand. I get a Assault Core. So at this point, Parallax C's is going to allow me to get two cards. I link those two off for a Union Carrier. And Union Carrier's effects going to activate with Light Charmer. Light Charmer effects, I'm going to steal his uh, Dragon Spirit of White. And Union Carrier, I'm going to get C Crush Rivern. Then I go into Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn effect, I'm going to get rid of my A Assault Core. And I do get rid of his Alternative Dragon. And now I'm going to go into my ABC Dragon Buster. ABC Dragon Buster is I'm going to allow me to discard and banishing one of his cards. And at that point, my opponent just concedes. So, yeah. That was a pretty fun duel. Uh, really short. I do hope you guys are enjoying these. And let's get, get into our next one. Thank you, guys. Alright, guys. This last duel is against branded adventure um this was a really interesting duel and i probably should have lost to be honest with you guys but hey we'll see what happens so i open up poorly it just happens um yeah this is not a good hand he act he normal summons a luber i'm going to inventor permanence this right away i don't want this to go off hopefully he doesn't have brain fusion in his opening hand so luber gets negated and he activates pot of prosperity he only banishes three. He gets Draco Rider, Ash Blossom, and Crossout Designator. He adds Crossout Designator. So when he only banished three, I was like, okay, he definitely has uh, the card he needs. But he sets three. I'm like, okay, interesting. Then I draw Water Enchantress. I activate Water Enchantress. And, of course, he's going to activate Crossout Designator. I knew that was going to happen. Nothing I could really do about that. So... Crossout Designator gets rid of both our Water Enchantresses though, so he doesn't have one, I don't have one. I have a Union Hanger at this point, and I get B Bust, uh, B Buster Drake, I normal summon Buster Drake, I get Union, and I get Union Driver. Union Driver is going to banish itself to get a Assault Core, a Assault Core is going to special summon itself on the field, and at this point I'm going to link them both off for a Union Carrier. Union Carrier effects are going to activate, B Buster Drake, a Assault Core, and Union Carrier effects are going to activate. Uh, this is where I misplayed. I shouldn't have activated ASR Core because that gets me B Buster Drake. So I'm now down one card and I get C Crush Rival into my hand. Uh, activate Union Carrier, but it gets Infinite Permanence. So I misplayed. And yeah, that, that's not good. <laughs> um, I'm like, all right, well, I can't do anything. So I set Call by the Grave and set Infinite Permanence on my turn. This is what I'm saying. I misplayed terribly, but so is my opponent. My opponent activates Fallen Me, Normal Sun's Fallen Abilize. He gets rid of Infinite Permanence, but I'm going to activate my own Infinite Permanence on Fallen of Albaz because I don't want him fusion summoning. Uh, simple as that. This, I don't want it. So at this point, he has no other plays. He attacks me for quite a bit of damage, but nowhere close to lethal, and I'm feeling pretty confident I can still win from this position. So just got to be patient and see what ends up happening. So I get Parallel Exceed. I'm like, that's a decent draw. Uh, see Crush Riven. Uh, then I'm going to activate B. Then at this point, I'm going to get rid of all three of them for my ABC Dragon Buster. ABC Dragon Buster effect, I'm going to activate, getting rid of his back row. And that was a good card. I mean, good card I banished there. I banished his Brandon in red. So I'm feeling really confident. Now I'm just going to attack over his Fallen of Albaz. And I end my turn. Feeling pretty confident here. My opponent uh, sets one, ends his turn. Does not mean that he just sets it to defense. I get my own crossout designator. I get rid of it. I mean, I get rid of my uh, Pelleg C's. I normal summon B Buster Drake. He max C's, but I'm not going to special summon this turn, so I really don't care. Then I equip the B Buster Drake into my A Assault Core, and I'm going to attack for quite a bit of damage. So at this point, my, it's my opponent's last turn. He gets one card draw. Let's we'll see what is happening. My opponent just concedes. So yeah, uh,. We both misplayed there. He bricked. I don't know how he bricked. I misplayed terribly. It was a fun duel, though. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. I cannot believe you guys have, like, gone out of your way to support me as much as you guys have. Um, I just really cannot express how much that means to me. Um, but, yeah, with that out of the way, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. If you guys have any requests for future videos, please let me know. Um, we like I said, we do have some more coming up uh, this month and next month. It's going to be very busy. 
uh lots of videos coming out i got some personal stuff in my life coming up here soon so that's going to take away uh from the videos but they're still going to be coming uh so don't worry about that so like i said guys i hope you guys are all enjoying and with that out of the way uh hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll catch you all next time